Congratulations, five. No, she
Good evening, everyone. As the seniors in the band make their way out, we're going to start our processional. I would ask you to please rise as we welcome our graduates. of 2013 this evening will be members of our distinguished faculty. Please welcome them with me.
I'd like everybody to remain standing for our national anthem. seated. Good evening, parents, loved ones, distinguished faculty, Dr. Gonzalez, members of the Board of Education, Mrs. Albanese, Mr. Bubba, Ms. Stinziano, and Mr. Mordkoff, and of course, the class of 2013. For those who are guests here this evening, I am the proud principal of Wayne Hills High School, Maureen Weir. Thank you. Thank you to the Symphonic Band for their prelude, for the Chamber Choir and their soloist, Sarah Auerbach, for our national anthem this evening. It is an honor to share in your pride and accomplishments tonight. I would like to take a moment and recognize the senior class advisors, Mrs. Grimbalis and Mr. Shale, if you wouldn't mind just standing up and their commitment to the class of 2013. I would also like to acknowledge Mr. Palazuski and Ms. Badami, our assistant principals who are down on the floor. <laughs> Working in a high school is an extremely rewarding experience. There are opportunities for growth each day. The most important task is to assure that each student who walks into the building feels important. While teaching and learning bind us together, tonight we go our separate ways, taking with us the insights we have gained throughout our years. In a recent book by Martin Seligman entitled Flourish, he succinctly states a framework that contributes to overall health and well-being. The book has inspired me to live each day with a new awareness, and I offer you these thoughts tonight. Be fully engaged in whatever you do. Be grateful. Find meaning and purpose in your work. Interact and form relationships, but don't compare yourself to others. See another's need and react accordingly. My wish for you, the class of 2013, is a future of happiness and well-being. We are lucky enough this evening to have four student speakers represent the class of 2013. Each see their experiences here at Wayne Hills through a unique lens. We are proud of all of them. Our student welcome is given by the president of the senior class. This articulate young man has served his class for four years and also has been our Board of, Li Board of Education liaison. He hopes to continue leading others in some way in his future. This student will be attending Indiana University in the fall. It is my pleasure to introduce David Ostern. Thank you, Ms. Weir, and good evening. It is my great pleasure to welcome my fellow students, the faculty and administration, parents and siblings, and family and friends to the Wayne Hills class of 2013 graduation. On September 8, 2009, 
we embarked on a new chapter in our lives, the start of high school. And while it was only four short years ago, we were such different people than we are today. When we came to Hills, we were the new kids in town. And for many of us, high school may have felt a bit overwhelming. I have to admit, I was a bit apprehensive about a few things myself. Was I going to be in classes with any of my friends? How on earth would I get to class all the way across the building without being late? Would I do well enough to get into a good college? And lastly, was there any truth to the rumors that seniors sometimes threw incoming freshmen into lockers just for the laughs? Looking back, these concerns were really just the small stuff. In actuality, the challenges we were faced with were considerably bigger, such as learning new ways to think and problem solve, finding extracurricular activities to participate in, not simply to add to the laundry list of stuff for our college applications, but because they really appealed to our individual interests, and forming friendships with individuals who shared our ever-evolving core values. Little did we know that these challenges were simply an inherent part of a new chapter in our lives. We have grown so much since our first day of high school, achieving goals that we never thought were possible and making memories and friendships that will last us all a lifetime. I am so proud of how our class embraced the challenges we encountered in those early days and the positive results that come from working together. For example, the top-notch academic clubs consisting of some of the best and brightest individuals in the state a team approach to school sports with some of the most gifted athletes New Jersey has ever seen. Music and art programs that, some of, that have some of the most talented students who take creativity to a whole new level. And of course, my favorite, securing the number one spot in Spirit Week, a huge step for our class. And as I stand before you, I no longer see the anxious freshmen from those early days at Hills. Today, I see the confident seniors, the class of 2013, 323 strong. When we leave Wayne Hills, we will embark on yet another chapter in our lives filled with, some, with, filled with the same excitement and trepidation that we felt when we arrived. Many of us will go on to college, some will enter the workforce, and others will need a little more time to figure out their next move. No matter what path you choose, each and every one of us has the power to make a difference, whether it be big or small. Just think. Our generation has seen so many firsts that our parents and prior generations never could have imagined. A little something called the iPhone, which has fundamentally changed the way we communicate and access information. New ways of staying connected and capturing memories with social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Vine, and much more. And regardless of your political affiliation, people like Barack Obama and Sonia Sotomayor, who have shown us that we can achieve anything regardless of skin color, heritage, or gender to break new ground and make our world a better place requires people who are not afraid to take chances, who push the envelope, and who lead. We are the next generation of innovators and leaders. There is nothing that is out of our reach. Our ability to make a positive impact in the world would not be possible without so many individuals who have been there for us. On behalf of the entire senior class, thank you to Superintendent Gonzalez, Ms. Weir, Mr. Palazuski, Ms. Badami, and the Board of Education represented here tonight by Alan Morkoff, as well as our other members, for your leadership, vision, and commitment. A special thank you to Mr. Shale and Mrs. Grimbless. You have been there to listen, to guide, and to advise our class. Thank you to our teachers and guidance counselors for exposing us to new ways to think, providing us with opportunities to explore, and helping so many of us navigate the entire college application process. Thank you to the office and maintenance staff, as well as Officer Mark, your dedication ensures that our school runs smoothly and is safe every single day. To the PTO, thank you for all of your hard work and for ensuring that tonight's project graduation will be a tremendous success. And to our families, for guiding us, instilling us with the right values, and most of all, loving us. Please join me in a warm round of applause for all of these individuals. As your class president, I was only as good as my team. Thank you to Bianca Ademi and the best student council a president could ever ask for. Because of your dedication and hard work, we were able to accomplish great things and make our senior year one that the entire class will always remember. Before I turn the podium back over to Ms. Weir, I want to share a quote from Gandhi, who once said, be the change you want to see in the world. We are the future. And if you ever doubt what you can do, seek inspiration not only from those who have paved new roads before us, but from each other. 
Together, we have the power to make our world a better place. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2013. The salutatorian of the class of 2013 is a well-rounded scholar. During her four years, this student has held numerous leadership positions in the marching band, has been involved in the Wayne Hills Theater Workshop, has participated in the Quiz Bowl, is the corresponding secretary for the National Honor Society, a member of the Spanish Honor Society, the Music Honor Society, an AP scholar, and a National Merit Commended Scholar. She will be attending the University of Delaware in the fall, the salutatorian address is given by Ms. Lauren Markovich. Thank you, Ms. Weir. I'd like to first begin with a few thank yous. First, to my mom and dad. Although you stopped being able to help me with my homework years ago, you've continued to teach me lessons that I didn't just memorize for a test and forget a week later. To my older sister, Elaine, for being best, both the best role model and best friend I could ask for. To the Starbucks Caramel Frappuccino crew for four years of support, homework reminders, late night conversations, and the occasional debate. And finally, to Mr. Paterno for letting me share his office every seventh period and knowing me better than I know myself. I don't think I could ever put into words how much you all mean to me. For 18 years, I've lived my life based on expectations. Done every homework assignment because my teachers expected it. Ate whatever was put on my dinner plate because my parents expected it. Played the role of quiet, studious band geek for all of high school because you, my peers, expected it. And I'm sure you all have had similar experiences, acting the way you do simply to confirm preconceived ideas of who you are. Sure, sometimes these expectations can be beneficial. They can give you the motivation and courage to live up to them, to maintain your reputation. However, they can also be extremely debilitating. We limit ourselves to what others expect and do not have the ability to act otherwise. But it's graduation, a time for change, time to break free from the status quo and defy expectations. Now, you probably think I'm gonna go into the whole redefine yourself in college thing, but I assure you I'm not, trying to defy expectations. And while I'm at it, who needs that? or this, or this. So, as I was saying, um, expectations can be crushing. They can hold you down and make you not wanna try to do things even though you really, really want to, just because you, people don't expect you to do them. And this pressure doesn't just come from those around you. It can come sometimes the strongest voice is from inside, something I know all too well. As a perfectionist, I only let myself be happy if I've achieved my goals. And when you demand perfection from yourself, achieving your goals is pretty hard. So after countless tears, so many disappointments, and countless sleepless nights, I honestly didn't think I'd be standing here before you, but here I am. And Darn it. Uh, <laughs> and, hmm, interesting. <laughs> but for the past few years, and currently right now, I've been pushing myself to follow my heart, do what I feel I need to do, and instead of being persuaded by the expectations of those around me. And while this has been extremely difficult, if you can't see my shaking hands, the ability to surprise myself every day has been entirely worth it. Now, this isn't something new, made up by ambitious generation X's and Y's, just to prove that they're better. This is something that's been around for a long time. In 1841, Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote that whoso would be a man must be an informist. Um, sorry, I got distracted by you. Uh, <laughs> Um, who said would be a man would be a nonconformist? You see, ex breaking expectations has quite literally made history. The Emancipation Proclamation, the Constitution, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the 19th Amendment, 
expectations beg to be pushed. In order to change, we have to do this. And now, I, oh, now I'm not saying that you guys have to change the world, make the new constitution, do anything like that, but you just have to change the world around you. Break free from limiting expectations. Be yourself and show that you are stronger than assumptions. In fact, you know what I think we need to do? We need to turn the tables and throw those expectations onto society. We have to use this powerful force that we've known so well for good. Expect diligence, hard work, and a positive attitude from your coworkers. Expect compassion, understanding, and cooperation from your neighbors. Expect freedom, equality, fair labor laws, environmental protection from our government people. We are the future, and it is up to us to put this force on the world around us. We've been slaves to the pressure for so long. So, class of 2013, let's change things. Thank you, Lauren. We are in a unique position this year to have co-valedictorians. Our first address is given by a young man who attended the New Jersey Governor School for Engineering and Technology. He is the membership coordinator for the Future Business Leaders of America, a member of the marching band, the men's choir, the web developer for the National Honor Society, a member of the Spanish Honor Society, the Music National Honor Society, and the founder of the Frisbee Club. He will be attending Cornell University in the fall. It is my honor to introduce Mr. Anton Gilger as our first valedictorian speaker. So uh, how's it going, Class of 2013? You know, I think we can go a little bit louder. I know it's really hot and sweaty, and that's probably why it's not as loud as I think. But I, I think it's fine to try again. So, uh, how's it going, class of 2013? <laughs> now that seems like a group of graduating seniors. So, before I begin, I'd like to thank all the family, friends, and significant others out there that have come out to see us graduate. I do thank all of you for the countless support you've shown us throughout our high school careers. Always there to lend a helping hand or maybe give us a little distraction to relieve us of some constant stress. Without you, none of our accomplishments would have been possible. And it means a lot to have you here taking photos and videos, or maybe just watching and listening. And though some of us students may not show it or even realize it ourselves, we really do appreciate you more than you know. And that's why we wanted you here with us at our graduation. I'd also like to thank the faculty for being our guides and mentors throughout our high school careers, teaching us new subjects, leading us through various problems, or perhaps merely just holding a conversation with us. You are all role models that are committed to teaching the next generation, and that is truly admirable. So a famous person once said, it's whatever we had to do, it's just who I am. Yeah, it's the life I chose. That quote is truly yours by the famous rapper, Two Chains. So, you're probably wondering why a valedictorian decided to open with a rap lyric. Well, it's actually a funny story. So, at the beginning of my senior year here, when I was initially salutatorian or rank two, a young lyricist here decided to give me a new nickname, Two Brains. <laughs> Well, uh, before I even knew it, not only was, were this young lyricist and all our friends calling me two brains, even my own girlfriend and people I'd never even met before were doing it also. And that nickname lasted through the, the entire year, even during senior awards night. I mean, hey, you might even continue today if someone wants to yell out. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> so, me being the eccentric that I am, I thought that was kind of cool. I mean, it's not every day that I get noticed or that all these people shout my name through the hallways. And that got me thinking, how does some nerd fit in with all these people? 
And I really can't say that's because of my personality. I mean, I don't carry that much swag. So the conclusion was pretty obvious. It had to be that this amazing group of students here at Wayne Hills was so diverse and accepting. And I can honestly say that that is entirely true. Being an athlete, singer, band geek, actor, techie, poet, programmer, and practically everything else in between, I've seen many, many different groups of people, and, and that's really what has shown me this. See, that's also unique. <laughs> From that experience, I can say that not only is there an amazing and fun click for every single person here at Hills, but that every single person here also has some amazing and fun characteristic to them. Beach balls can wait till later, I guess. I mean, so, for, for instance, Mike Sungrove is a talented pianist. Corey Vital is a modern age philosopher. Danny B is really good with kids. And Nick Galizia is absolutely hilarious. So, in the life I chose here at Hills, I decided to remember all these amazing attributes about everyone and do no more than merely accept their negative attributes because it is this conglomeration that makes Wayne Hills such a diverse and accepting family. I choose not to remember Wayne Hills as a place where I lost several hour, hundred hours of sleep, had many hard teachers, tons of homework and stress, plenty of arguments with plenty of people, some heartbreak and some sadness, but instead to remember it as the place where I found many friends, achieved various goals, learned so much material from many amazing minds, became a leader and honed many talents, as well as had many resolutions and amazing love and a great deal of happiness. The truth is that many amazing things have happened to me as well as many of you at our time here at Hills. And when you look back this week or next week or maybe in a few years and have that feeling of nostalgia, you'll see that it's true. And perhaps it's because of our own confirmation bias, as Mr. McNutt would say, that we tend to remember the bad memories over the good when there are actually so many times that we have been happy and experienced great things. I say this because in my four years here, I've seen people that hate being here and many alumni who have no reason to come back and don't want to hear anything at all about Wayne. As you leave our home here at Wayne Hills, I hope that you all instead remember all of the fun projects, the wealth of clubs and sports, and all the good times you had with your friends. Choose to lead your life in a positive direction from this day forward. As you go to college and we all go our different ways, choose to be the person that you want to be and you are. Choose to stay in touch with your amazing friends and choose to remember and come back and visit Wayne Hills with many fond memories. With that, I would like to wish you all the best of luck in your endeavors. Congratulations, class of 2013. Our final student address this evening Thank you. Our final student address this evening will be given by an individual who teachers call determined. This student attended the New Jersey Governor's School for Sciences. She volunteered her time in Guatemala assisting impoverished people with clinical care. She is a member of the National Honor Society, the Quiz Bowl team, a peer leader, National Merit finalist, AP Chemistry Student of the Year, AP Scholar with Distinction, as well as summa cum laude on the National Latin Exam. Tiffany will be attending the Pennsylvania State University Accelerated Pre-Med program next year. Please welcome Tiffany Daria. Thank you, Mrs. Weir. I'd like to welcome you all, parents, faculty, friends, and peers to this unforgettable evening. I thought about trying to make you all laugh with a Twitterverse style speech to keep it brief and relevant. Who needs more than 140 characters to get her message across anyway? But there's only so many things a hashtag can capture. It's strange to think that I'm standing here addressing you all. In this moment, you may think that there's little advice that I could give to you. 
After all, who am I to be telling you how to embrace your future? I couldn't agree more. In fact, many of you probably don't even know who I am. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. Here's my classmates. Let's graduate, maybe? But on this day, we are united as one. I'm honored to be up here speaking, representing our class, and would not be here without the help of some very influential people. My mom, who's been there for me every second of the way through both the tears and the laughter. My dad, who's always believed in me even when I didn't. My grandparents, who have made my days a lot lighter and, of course, a lot sweeter. And my sister, Monsi, the biggest role model in my life who I can turn to for anything and everything. Often, we hear speakers applaud the future doctors and lawyers sitting before them, but I'm here to raise a cheer to the accomplishments we've already witnessed amongst the Wayne Hills class of 2013. Graduating with us today is a special group of students who built houses in New Orleans, a girl who saved a man's life, and also students who helped the homeless in Oregon. I couldn't be more proud to be graduating alongside each and every one of you. It's these shared experiences that have connected us on an entirely different level. And this connection will last forever, whether we like it or not. And in 10, 15, even 20 years, we will still have the honor of referring to ourselves as the Wayne Hills High School Class of 2013. In honor of Throwback Thursday tomorrow, I'd like to spend a few moments reminiscing on some of the things that have made our times here at Hills so memorable. I mean, where else could you find half-baked brownie cookies, an entire wing of the school as cold as the inside of a freezer, and of course, the sprint to the senior parking lot once the bell has rung. Where else can you find staff who sing songs before class to ensure their students start their day off right, who stop you in the hallway to, if you're looking upset to see if you're doing okay, who offer their help to edit this very speech? It's the journey that we've shared that has created the foundation we rest upon today. Graduation is not just a bittersweet ending to an amazing and exhilarating beginning. There are things in life that we can't control, like graduating from Wayne Hills, but we still have the ability to take what we've got and do it big. Now that I've got the heavy lifting out of the way, hopefully you're all still with me, and you haven't perfected the napping while appearing to take notes move that we've exhausted senior year. Here are my few words dedicated to our class, inspired by the great Dr. Seuss in his eternal graduation favorite, Oh, the places you will go. You're on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the one who will decide where to go. UMass, Rutgers, TCNJ, each one of us will go our own way. And my very own journey to Penn State reminds me that college alone will not seal our fate. Each and every day is at our disposal. What we do with it is only our proposal. 24 hours. In school, it feels like a lot. Freshman fitness, Shakespearean sonnets. At times, it seems our brains will surely rot. Procrastination is nothing new, but the time is ticking, and there are many thank yous left long overdue. We will not forget those who have been here for a shoulder, a hand, or to share in good cheer. Thank you to parents, brothers, sisters, family, and friends, always there to help, a sympathetic ear to lend. Thank you to teachers, faculty, and staff for teaching us history, English, science, and math. You're a greater influence than you'll ever know. Unforgettable are the seeds of knowledge that you plant and sow. It does not matter if you are number one or number two, for the troubles we have faced are surely not few, but the obstacles we face only make us last longer because what doesn't kill us only makes us stronger. I know that many had doubts we'd make it here, you know, with the world supposedly ending last year, but Drake has shown there is little to fear. We started from the bottom, now we're here. These are our roots. Wayne Hills has connected us in all our pursuits, and all 323 deserve applause, as anyone can see. A person is a person, no matter how small. Be considerate of others and try not to stall. Your future awaits. Do with it what you will. We are given one life to live. With happiness, let it fill. Stop for a second and think about your lives. Why do you do what you do? For self-gratification and a high five? From here on out, you define the who that is you. And all I ask is that you stay truer than true, not because someone is looking over your shoulder, but because you want to right wrongs and even push borders. But do not forget those who encounter many plights. Not everyone is lucky, and for them, we shall fight. Wayne Hills, that is where I'm from. Not Valley nor DePaul, this is where the best come. Class of 2013, of that we are proud. 
world hear us roar, you can bet that we're loud. Take a moment, look around, stop and pause. Now everybody, give yourself a giant round of applause. Thank you, Tiffany. At this time, I'd like to invite Dr. Gonzalez, our superintendent of schools, to offer his thoughts tonight to the class of 2013. Dr. Gonzalez. As I sit in the, uh, on the side there and, and listen to the remarks, it just makes me uh, remember how incredibly proud I am of, of all of you this evening. Um, Without going into trying to uh, pale in comparison to the remar remarks that have been made this evening and given the, the current hot circumstances, I I'm gonna get right to the point. What can I say that hasn't already been said? The Wayne Hills High School class of 2013 has spent over a decade preparing for this moment. Over the years, they've worked hard in and out of the classroom, on fields, in, on, on courts, on stages, They've gone through their own personal social ups and downs as they've navigated their way through relationships with peers, families, educators, teachers. They've discovered the value of friendships and being there to support one another. But most of all, they've demonstrated that they too have made a difference in this world. Therefore, this evening, it's not about me providing the words of inspiration, rather it's the Wayne Wayne Hills High School class of 2013 who have inspired us. Through all that they've done and all that awaits them in the years to come, I am inspired just thinking about the endless possibilities that lie ahead for these great young adults. All I ask, class of 2013, is that you never forget what you've learned these years that, has brought, that have brought you to this point because it's the same hard work navigation of interpersonal relationships, nurturing of friendships that will carry you through the success in the next chapter. But most of all, I urge you to remember that above all else, you too can make a difference in this world. So in closing, on behalf of all of Wayne Township Public Schools, I wish to congratulate the class of 2013 on a job well done. Congratulations and good luck. Each year, a Board of Education trustee also addresses the graduating class. I would like to thank Mr. Mordkoff for this year's address. Congratulations, Wayne Hills Class of 2013. I am honored to address you, but only briefly, as a member of the Board of Education. But as I stand up here before you, I really feel more like a parent than a Board of Ed trustee. My oldest boy graduated from this school a year ago, and in two years, my youngest will graduate two years after you. I know many of you, your parents, your brothers and sisters, and without getting too emotional, as parents often do when they see their children grow. I feel as if you, any one of you could be one of my own children, but don't ask me for money. I share your parents' hopes and dreams for you, and I also share their fears and anxiety. Your training wheels come off today, and we find ourselves once again holding our breath as we watch you move forward, this time further and further without us. I wish all of you well with all of my heart. I would like to conclude with a quote, author unknown. I hope your dreams take you to the corners of your smiles, to the highest of your hopes, to the windows of your opportunities, and to the most special places your heart has ever known. Class of 2013, may you live well, may you find lives of value, 
and may you strive always to do good. Congratulations. The Wayne Hills administration believes strongly that teachers have a lasting and profound effect on their students. The seniors, this senior class has chosen this faculty member to address them in a final farewell. This faculty member has taught at Wayne Hills High School for 31 years and on an interim basis has held many administration, administrative positions here, always helping students and staff. He is a teacher who encourages students and other teachers to be the best they can be. He is an invaluable member of the Wayne Hills faculty. He does many things behind the scenes to make our high school great. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Edward Zambrano. by the name of George Burns said it best when he said, the secret of a good sermon is to have a good beginning, a good ending, and then having the two as close together as possible. I believe the same to be true about a graduation speech. We are here to recognize, congratulate, and celebrate yet another milestone in the lives of this, the class of 2013. While graduation from high school is a validation of academic, athletic, and extracurricular accomplishments, these alone will not be enough for you to be successful. During your four years here at Wayne Hills High School, you challenged yourself by choosing classes that hopefully piqued your interest and tested your abilities. You committed countless hours in the classroom and on the fields. Many of you dedicated time serving your community because deep down, you needed a way to address those social concerns that constantly remind you that there are others in need of assistance and support. These actions have helped to define your character. As many of you have expressed, being an adult is not easy. Although part of our mission statement as a school community is to help you to develop your character, I do not think that that alone is enough. I am constantly reminded of the saying that it is not how many times you fall down, it is how many times you get back up that defines you. In the education section of the New York Times in 2011, there was an article entitled, What if the secret to success is failure? In it, the editor chronicles the challenges faced by a private school headmaster who focused his attention on how well prepared his graduates were years after leaving high school. He knew that his educational institution provided his students with academic challenges and strove to develop students with great character. Yet what he uncovered was that those who did succeed possessed another trait, the ability to face failure. They dug deep within, determined what they did correctly, and also corrected where they veered off course. They had the ability to make changes and redirect their efforts. They saw opportunities to improve themselves, not failure. They utilized their resources effectively. They possessed what they referred to as true grit. This is being tenacious while being reasonable and maintaining self-control. They were graceful under pressure. If you were faced with failure, know that you are not alone. How many faced failure of epic proportions before us? Did you know that Walt Disney was fired from his first job as a newspaper editor because he lacked imagination and good ideas? Van Gogh sold one painting in his lifetime to a friend for a small amount of money and Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team, yet is often lauded as the best basketball player of all time. Most students before us this evening can see a clear path to a certain type of success. Some will go to college and graduate before attaining well-paying jobs, while others have chosen to enter the workforce or military directly in order to define and secure their futures. And if they fall along the way, their families will most certainly be there to catch them when they fall and support them through their trials. We all want you to succeed, but in order to do so, you must understand that first you might need to learn how to fail. We are all here to assist you along the way. Just as you might need to reach out for help, be mindful that you might be the source of encouragement someone else needs in order to move ahead. 
You are never alone. Just ask for help. Eleanor Roosevelt said it best when she said, you can gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You were able to stay to see yourself, I have lived through this horror, I can take the next thing that comes along. You must do the thing you think you cannot do. Class of 2013, enjoy all experiences and challenges as they come along knowing that successes as well as failures are valuable opportunities that we encounter each and every day as we move forward on our way towards pursuing our dreams. Learn from the mistakes of others. When you have the chance, give it a thought. Maybe failure is the key to success. On behalf of everyone at Wayne Hills High School, I thank you for enriching our careers as educators. Each of you has left a mark. And dear parents and guardians, thank you for sharing your children with us. We, are now, we now return them safely back to you and look forward to hearing of their future accomplishments. Class of 2013, continued happiness in all you pursue. Thank you, Mr. Zambrano. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. At this time, David, I'd like to ask you to come up to the microphone. Mr. Mordkoff and members of the Wayne Board of Education. As principal of Wayne Hills High School, it is my privilege to present to you the Wayne Hills High School Class of 2013. In doing so, I certify that all these students have met both Board of Education and the State of New Jersey requirements for graduation. David Ostern, president of the senior class, will read the names at this time. Pearson Akturk. <laughs> Shanae Hancock. Anthony Polito, <laughs> Sheila Solomon, Dominic Pilion, Sun Moon, Tommaso Abadashani, Brittany Chamberlain, Brandon Pierre, Caitlin Gerhold, Gina Aiello, Alexis. Philly. Bionda Ademi. Lauren Markovich. Anton Gilger. Tiffany Darian. Natalie Rodriguez. Talitha Jones. Ali Nabil. Stephanie Morrow. Tyler Joseph Lapore. Aaron Zara. Jay Park. Daniel Munoz. Victoria Lena Budessa. Samuel Douglas Finkelstein. Rachel Malzardi. Ryan Inglet. Ariel Gershevich. 
Jesse Freeman. Victoria Huff. Michael Salvatore Casari. Danielle Barron. Adam Shockey. Samantha Selikoff. Lena Eshak. Abi Ajit. Celine Wallace. Billy Barcella. Noor Omron. Matt Hypole. Marnie Rossetti. Michael Zimmerman. Alicia Gomez Shah. Eric Chen. Pamela Harvey. Michael Lim. Matthew Casari. Julia Mignacci. Michael Epstein. Sarah Powell. Eddie Sawicki. Kiara Rodriguez. Frank Chiavetta. Jasmine Frey. Daniel Drasnan. Alexandra Derricks. Robbie Schiller. Angelina Campbell. Julia Sky Aviles. Douglas James Wardle. Gianna Cipollino. Edward John Porta. Brianna Gerlite. Michael Palladino. Amanda Pollock. Michael Walton. Zainab Hamda. Andrew Singh. Anna Ma. Vincenzo Vigorito. Elias Sayat. Mansha. Mansha Kakar. Sashi Sadwani. Tara Jufre. Nart Saga. Brielle Chamberlain. Ryan Ireland. Alyssa Shiner. Adam Plotzker. Sally Abdul Raouf. Owen Fizik. Helena Kremen. Diane Choi. Thomas Muller. Amanda Greco. Matthew De La Osa. Alisa Dimitrovsky. Jake Struble. Brittany Conti. Michael Valenti. Stephanie Pucci. Lorenzo Raul Fernando Carrero Leal. Bessa Adili. Brett Goldberg. Kenny Chechu. Albion Barova. Deborah Lee. Bradley Corman. Rachel Puglia. Matthew Siafi. Catherine Achiavati. Jesmar Holganza. Caitlin Vishnevsky. Paul Kim. Kimberly McGill. Bogdavi Condetti. Brandon Hong. Esther Lim. Daryl Barreto. Cassandra Fasati. Abraham Kang. Maggie Smith. 
Scotty Fernandez. Alexandra Piper. Hector Miguel Alcantara. Nina Bachna. Michael Anthony Rotino. Amro Sala. Carolyn Radcliffe. Amir Shamanovic. Quinn Kelly. Xavier Valerio. Julia Zarnecki. Christopher Vazovsky. Sarah Bowton. Jason Azar. Kerry Kerpik. Roberto Gentile. Shay Mansour. Shay Mansour. Chloe Kelly. Justin Daniel Tuminello. Kimberly Oppenheimer. Brandon Hannell. Hannah Wantula. Chris Cruz. Jenna Biancoli. Paul Gabinelli. Shannon Whitney. Michael Giardello. Bridget Cohen. Justin Berkman. Eric Goldberg. Hannah Kiningham. Anthony Destesso. Caitlin Jones. Matthew Conrado. Elena Conklin. Michael Levine. Pauline Park. Marco Nuzzi. Stephanie Critchfield. Stefano Tavella, Nor Quake, Jacqueline Cohen, Merrick Slowinski, Emma Nochesi, Robert James Brown, Lily Dalco, Brandon Dokes, Figueroa. Gabriella Figueroa. Zishan Ahmed, Isabel Nima, Nicholas Trenacosta, Sarah Pressler, Daniel Wilcox, Connor Pliskin, Gunish Alisi, Michael Sungrove, Nicole Heimbach. Rishi Dar, Bianca Carmaker, Jared Lewin, Manali Nayak, Thomas Matera, Danielle Paraccio, Tyler Janowski, Rachel Kakel. Stephanie Puchin, AJ Riccardi, Laura Modak, Jason De La Osa, Francesca Veza, Patrick Graff, Alexis Santana, Nicholas Galizia. Nicolette Dries. Matt Shunky. Brittany Avache. Ryan Cardox. Alec J. Kirk. Kristen Oliveri. Vincent Bazelli. Nitu Nirapilli. Kevin Fitzgerald. Woo! Lauren Spadaro. Woo! David Barno. Woo! 
Catherine Lee. Nicholas Marzullo. Aline Naraditsky. Kevin Malhotra. Laura Seltzer. Sophia DeBarro. Craig Kuhnlein. Melissa Aiden. Kyle Huntinger. Elizabeth Yori. Steven Murray, Jillian Prusakowski, Matt Zisman, Alexa Beck, Kyle Keegan, Melissa Maskell, Jesse Dorbian. Chirag Parikh. Yeah. Parika Tazoon. Jake Wallace. Sarah DeGraff. Naveen Yag Namurthy. Ipek Akar. Corey McCarrick, Mallory Cohen, Elijah Kim, Esser Kaya, Alvaro Chaljub, Yena Lee, Alexandra Cusick. Anthony Martinez, Brianna Ransaw, Steven Tartaglia, Jenny Lee Achu, Jeff Maraconda, Julia Robbins, Keith Levine. Nicole Stammer, Michael Beltramba, Sydney Shaw, Christae F. Tomowski, Nick Maraconda, Shelby Goodrich, Vladimir Perozak. Yasmin Abud, Matthew Ronaldo, Brooke Gowers, Paul Kava, Love Kina, Robert Zakotnik, Carly Sujian. Robert John Lindsay, Melissa Falco, Tony Ann Zangrilli, James Zambito, Marta Yarish, David Birkin, Sarah Salerno. Corey Vital, Kelsey Bunker, Tyler Torelli, Bethany DeBlock, Helder Rabello, Kerry George. Matthew Lantain, Andrew Appel, Yazy Lim, Josh Cote, Samantha Rydell, Zachary Burr, Alana Jill Kleinfeld, 
Gregory S. Kesselhout. Alexa Fumarelli. Preston Quinn. Alexandra Bensavanga. Eric Moskal. Catherine Chemcheres. Nicole Margiata. Philip Jackowitz. Yeah, I know. Hold on. Daniela Maffei. Brennan Rowe. Bianca McDermott. Mark Imbimbo. Tatiana Sanchez. Omar Sam. Savage, Ryan Tamp, Jenna Parlagreco, Dan Smith, Shannon Callantone, Connor Sirkan. Sasha Arislanuk. Patrick Corey, <laughs> Melissa DiLorenzo, <laughs> Ryan Tangarife, <laughs> Lisa Eshek, <laughs> Matthew Fuso, <laughs> Edvin Rovcannon, <laughs> Sean Chella. Ahmed Abdel Wahab, Dan Rivera, Christian Rodriguez, Connor Michelle, Michael Abate, it's his birthday today, Hunter Beck, Garrett Tennyson. Aris Hunt. Yeah. Nicholas Osarko. Matthew Ortiz. Jonathan Hahn. Daniel Massa. Ismail Tayar. Robert Levine. And David Austin. If I could ask the class of 2013 to stand at this time. And David will lead you in crossing your tassel over. Congratulations, class of 2013.